Hello and welcome to my day two trade update for my Slayer character. Um, it's pretty much all the same gear that I had in SSF. I did drop a yoke in SSF, I just never used it. Uh, the shield I dropped in SSF, but I never needed it because I already had something. I just threw essences on it until I hit some suffixes that I wanted. Same thing with this ring, I had it in SSF, I just crafted it in trade. Uh, I did buy the boots, and I did buy this belt with the crit multiplier craft on it. And then these gloves I've had, and I've recrafted for like the 16th time. Uh, the taming, something that I already had, the exact same role. And this weapon I bought, uh, uh, total expense so far for the character is probably going to be around like 60 div. Between the this weapon here, with the lightning res on it even, uh, the new belt... Um, the boots and then some of the just like generic crafting currencies that I've had to use to craft other things for the build. I also bought a massive thread of hope and a chaos res um, prismatic jewel, whatever they're called again. I can't even remember right now. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, the massive thread of hope, it gets me some crit multiplier into the build over here with dismembering and then it also gets me onslaught on kills so i don't need an onslaught flask and then gladiators perseverance this is just 40 percent increased damage and then 10 percent attack speed while on full life slayer with this uh what is it called the the over leech basically as long as you're leeching you're fine uh so it's a good note on a slayer to be able to yoink i think from a uh, massive threat of hope um, this spell suppression, I plan on completely removing. Um, I need to recraft the body armor. This is the same one that I used on my trickster, but I want to recraft the body armor with spell suppression so I can drop some of the spell suppress on the tree in addition to converting more spell suppress than I already have from dexterity. Uh, the spell suppress is like almost two div each, but I've also, I've, I've just used the ones that I've gotten from SSF. Uh, once I get the spell suppression out of the build, I can then take the claw attack speed stuff again. That's basically what I dropped in compensation to cap spell suppress. Uh, I'm using the same exact cluster jewel that I had in SSF, and these are jewels that I had in SSF as well. Uh, I think one of them I crafted uh, after SSF, but I had it in my inventory. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, for defenses, real quick, my fire res is capped, my cold res is capped, my lightning res is capped. I want to get my fire res and my chaos res even higher, uh, just so I can click alters. And then I have 65-65 block with 100% spell suppression. Uh, it's pretty good defenses, and I also have the immunity to shock and immunity to freeze, thanks to arctic armor and uh, tempest shield. Um, this build is currently using an Enlighten. As I level up, I can drop the Enlighten, um, but it's currently being used just to help me have uh, enough reservation. And then once I drop the Enlighten, I can comfortably fit the Vengeful Cry, uh, the one that gives Rage, back into the build with uh, Urgent Orders linked to uh, one of my Blood Magic. Uh, it's probably going to end up being in, like, in the gloves or... Uh, weapon or shield I, I'm gonna have to rearrange stuff like that's all subject to be changed um, I threw on the MTX for the demonic reeve uh, just to spice up this character I have MTX's I'm just one of the people that like even though I have a lot of MTX's because I buy supporter packs I just never actually like use them half the time uh, unless I really like the MTX another thing that I did is I actually bought the whirling blades MTX I saw someone else playing a different uh, build and uh, just like research for like what other people are playing and how they're building it and they had this MTX for their whirling blades and I was like it kind of looks like there's grasping vines coming at you while you're whirling blade and then um, when he was like just really blading in the King's March I noticed that it was just like no that's just an MTX and it like disables the sound so it's really really nice uh not having to listen to the whirling blades mtx noise like the bass whirling blades is so loud uh i am doing a harvest strategy with my tree right now but i am not 
um, what's it called? I'm not like scarab mapping anything right now. I'm just running sepultures because I want to one level up. Uh, two, I want the uh, what's it called? Uh, the scry. I want to scry this map onto Mesa, and when I run Mesa, I'm going to also favor uh, fields. I like fields. This layout, it's open. Um, I'm not a personal fan of Jungle Valley. I've done a lot of Jungle Valley uh, altar builds in the past, so I, I, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I want to try out Mesa and give it a good uh, college try, basically. Um, but without running with Scarabs, the most I've gotten from Harvest is like 4k yellow juice. I would say the average is around like 1 to 2k is well within the means. I think this is actually like a really, really, really bad plot. Normally you don't get three yellows, but basically with like having three yellows, you kind of just got to pick whatever um, bad tile set is the best result. Uh, so I can't remember what exactly I did here, but I think picking both the two reds and then the last yellow and if the blue happened to go up would probably be the best option. I don't know for certain. Uh, I've been kind of just like farting around with this and trying to figure out how uh, crop rotation works. I like simpler strats and I know that crop rotation, like once you understand it, it's allegedly pretty easy. Um, but yeah, with temp chains and everything else, this ends up actually being like a pretty slow map for me. Uh, most of my maps I'm trying to actually do in under three minutes. So I think three minutes for just an Elk and Go strategy is pretty optimal, especially when I have no idea, one, what the hell I'm doing, and two, I'm like constantly trying to figure out like how I can upgrade my build. Um, I've not POB'd the character at all right now, but it, I mean, the damage is fine. Uh, melts everything just fine the general survivability while mapping feels about the same but the one thing that i will say that is noticeably better about slayer right off the bat has been uh especially with everything life tapped like my life isn't draining down to like half hp every like five seconds so that's really really nice with like blood rage and everything else degening so yeah uh that's gonna be it for this video I'll make another update video either later tonight or tomorrow. Anyways, see ya. Peace.